many students would face a lot of stress during the preparation journey. And those who don't face stress, it's not like, as if that their journey is quite smooth. Everyone faces stress in this journey. Many students, there are some signs of stress that at least we as teachers can identify. And we also tell our students that if this is happening, probably you are stressed. One, you must recognize that you are stressed versus you are feeling the weight of the competition. One must differentiate, differentiate between these things. There is a very subtle line of difference here. Mental stress would be when you have, as I said earlier also, when you think that you should be doing something and you are not able to do that thing and that is leading to a vicious cycle of you thinking that I can't do, I can't do, I can't do. Hello and welcome to this special conversational series with Visionize faculty. Today we will discuss a very important topic of managing stress while preparing for UPSC exam. And to discuss this, we have today an esteemed faculty of Vision IES, Aditya sir. Welcome sir. Sir, before we dive into the topic, can you point out the factors that leads to stress while preparing for UPSC exam? When you look at this exam, when you look at the students, look at the number of people who are appearing, the success ratio, many things contribute to stress. You have a 21, 24 year old, person who has come a long way from their home, who is looking at their friends who are maybe not preparing for civil services, doing something else, business, job somewhere else, enjoying. And you're preparing for an exam that has a very, very small percentage of success. For sure, it is a very stressful time, time period for any student. So factors that contribute to stress, there are many. One, you are away from home. Second, your life is restricted to this cycle of studying, giving exam, preparing for another exam, preparing for another stage, and then studying again. There's a repetitive cycle that you are in. So many students would face a lot of stress during the preparation journey. And those who don't face stress, it's not like as if that their journey is quite smooth. Everyone faces stress in this journey. Sir, but there are students, and there are a lot of them, who do not get this idea that I am stressed because they are not able to understand that whatever is happening to them is stress or anxiety. So what are some early signs or some common signs that can help them identify, okay, I'm going through a stress or anxiety? One thing before I answer this question, I would like to clarify, I'm not a trained psychologist, but given that I have had experience with of interacting with many students, there are some signs of stress that at least we as teachers can identify and we also tell our students that if this is happening probably you are stressed when i say stress stress does not mean the stress of competition stress means that whatever the competition is you are not able to focus on that competition stress is not that the success ratio is low stress is that i had some objectives in mind i had some targets to be achieved and somehow i'm not able to achieve those targets and that is leading to a vicious cycle in my mind. That is what I mean when I say stress. What are the signs of these things? One sign is, is reflected in our behavior. That's what I believe. If our behavior becomes something of the sort that we stop listening to others, we start interjecting more often when somebody else is speaking. I think that is a sign that maybe you have deviated a little bit. When you become reactive, to some small issues, non-issues, I think that's a sign of stress. At the same time, when a person starts to feel, let's say, headache, stomach ache, these things, these are also signs of stress, but again, a trained psychologist would be able to comment about them better. As a some person who observes people's behavior, I think I see these signs. I, I assess when a person is stressed by looking at these things. So, so once a student have this idea now that, okay, I'm going through this stress or anxiety, so what at individual level students can do to manage this stress? One, you must recognize that you are stressed versus you are feeling the weight of the competition. One must differentiate, differentiate between these things. There's a very subtle line of difference here. No one who prepares for this exam, no one who gets selected is getting selected because everything was good for them everything was comfortable for them. 
you witness, you experience lot of discomfort during your preparation journey, that is not what is stress or that is not what is mental stress. Mental stress would be when you have, as I said earlier also, when you think that you should be doing something and you are not able to do that thing and that is leading to a vicious cycle of you thinking that I can't do, I can't do, I can't do. That vicious cycle is what is leading to low confidence in students. That is what I think a sign of stress is. Now, what can you do for that at your individual level? One, it's not as if that you seek, that, that you require psychiatrist help, you, you require a psychologist helps, uh, psychologist help immediately. There are certainly some things that we can do at our own level also. For example, simply taking a step back, taking deep breaths and then thinking what is going wrong with me. This is something that you have to do at your own level. What is going wrong? Why am I not able to do what I am supposed to do? Why am I thinking the way I am thinking? Why am I behaving or reacting in the way that I am reacting? One, if somebody realizes these things on their own, then I think that's a very good starting point of self-help, self-help, one. Second, there is one more important point, always seek help from your close friends. I'm sure most of you would be living with your roommates. Seek help from them, ask them, what do you think has changed in me in last one week or one month? Do you notice any kind of change? Chances are your roommate or your good friend will give you an honest opinion about, as a friend, he might be very informal about that, maybe mazak mazak mein kuch bolenge. But still, take those opinions thinking that maybe have I deviated or not, maybe am I stressed or not. I think these are some things that a person can do on their own. Sir, then there comes a stage where self-help may not be enough. So how important is seeking professional help? Extremely important. and. Certainly, because one, one, one more reason because of why, why is it important is because many times we tend to underplay this issue. We tend to think that no, I am not stressed, I am simply there is competition and we ignore such issues. But the fact is these things keep on eating into our, into our mental peace, keep on eating into what we were supposed to do, some basic tasks also. So at one point it certainly becomes necessary for you to seek mental, professional help. Take for example. Most of the students here at Rajendra Nagar, Karol Bag, or anybody who's preparing, they would be in their rooms, they would be going to libraries, they would not be interacting with others. And this continuous process of no, no social interaction will keep you in that bubble where whatever you speak gets reflected back to you. And if you are stressed, that gets reflected back to you. And as a result of that, your stress only keeps on increasing. That is a point where one should certainly seek professional help. Sir, Vision understood this, the importance of professional help and started providing professional help to his students. So can you throw some light about what we are doing? Yes. So recognizing the stress that students have been facing, we started this program of student wellness in April 2024 this year. We have hired professionals for this. We have, I think, four professionals now and we have counseled around 300 students already, Vision IS students. Given the sad incidents of past week, we have also now opened this life, this facility to everybody in Rajendra Nagar and it's free of cost. I would urge anyone who faces any kind of stress, please register for this and seek this professional help. We have trained people and they have, as I said, they have given help, given counseling to around 300 students already and we have been doing this thing since last around five, six months. So please go and seek this help. Sir, so coming back to the part of self-help, so there are factors that can really help a lot managing the stress level. One of them is physical activity and diet. So how important are these aspects? Many things. Again, I will first again clarify this thing, give, a, give this disclaimer. I'm not, a, I'm not a trained professional, so please seek help. What I say is from my experience, what I see is from my interaction with students. Certainly, there are some things that help us out. Physical exercise, social interaction, not social media interaction, social interaction. Social interaction, physical exercise, diet, these things certainly help us out. One way that I would suggest, I, as in what I have found is to be interesting is to manage stresses. One, I would share my personal experience here and what I have shared with others. 
as I said that we are in an echo chamber. We don't get inputs from others because we are not socializing any longer. Whatever we think that keeps on getting re reflected back to us. Develop a reward system. You study hard, you do all that, you, you, you remain in that stressful environment for a long time. Develop a reward system as well. What is this reward system? I'll just elaborate for one minute. For example, there must be something that is important in your life apart from exams. Something. You are concerned about, let's say, your body weight. You are concerned about your health. You are concerned about your parents. You are concerned about some, some, some place that I have a willingness to visit some place in future. There might be something, there would be something that is important in your life. Whenever you do your daily activity, spend some time on that. Take for example, tell yourself that if I have achieved my today's target, I will call my mother, call my brother. Doing this, this is a reward. Reward is not that somebody is going to come and give you some certificate that you have achieved this thing. Reward yourself, write down a target that I will do this thing. Health is important for you, go out for a run. But the condition of going out for a run is that you go out for a run when you have completed your today's target. This will help you to manage your stress. That is my personal advice from my experience with others. I think that this helps a lot. So one thing you talked about was social interaction. And there is a, this myth associated with the UPSC preparation that you have to get socially isolated, foul preparation, people stop uh, going out with friends or talking to them, talking to the family. So why social interaction becomes very crucial for UPSC preparation in general and to manage stress in particular? Uh, regarding social interaction, uh, I think there is a time element to this, historical element here. I think at one point of time in past, maybe 20 years, 15 years before today, many those who got selected, they were the ones who worked really hard in isolation. That may have been a strategy that paid off 15 years back, 20 years back. Today, I think because of levels of anxiety among students, the kind of social environment that we have grown up in. Today, I think that is not the right strategy. In fact, from my limited experience, all of my candidates, my students that have got selected, I don't think so any one of them was a socially isolated person. They all had their good social lives. Social isolation may have worked in past, but I don't think so that it is the best strategy today or the only relevant strategy today. There are, as in people who have cleared the exam, they have cleared not being socially isolated, rather being rather working in tandem with their friends. Take for example cricket. You have Virat Kohli's example, you have Rahul Dravid's example. Virat Kohli is aggressive and that brings the best out of him. Doesn't mean that everybody has to be aggressive. Similarly, Rahul Dravid was more of, let's say, a person focused on his own skills, practice, not very aggressive on the field, kind of a cool gentleman. And that brought the best out of him in the field. So it's not as if that there is just one strategy. In past, Rahul Dravid's strategy might have worked better. Today, it may not work. Or today, it might may not be the only strategy. Virat Kohli's strategies might work today, might not be a better strategy tomorrow. Australian cricket team strategy, Indian cricket team strategy. Every person is different. So let's not think that if somebody got selected because they were isolated, you also have to become isolated. No, that's not right. And especially given today's circumstances, I think isolation has more negative consequence rather than positive consequence. So your competition is, don't think that your roommate or your classmate is your competition, your library mate is your competition. You people are going to help each other out. Your, you people are going to synergize all your energies, work together and will going, are going to get selected together. Your competition is somebody isolated studying in, let's say, Kerala or Tamil Nadu or UP or Bihar. They are your competition, as in distant people. They are the competition. The people around you, they are not competition. You all must combine your energies and study together. Help each other out. That is the strategy to be. Sir, before we end this session, any final word of advice for students how to work upon their stress levels and ensure they are in manageable limits? Do not hesitate to recognize that there is stress. Do not think that because someone else is doing something better than you, they are not stressed. 
everybody in this exam faces such challenges. One, understand that you are not unique in this sense who is facing challenges. And once you simply realize this thing, stress goes away. Democratization of stress. Stress starts to go away. But at the same time, if you feel that there is something that is genuinely wrong, you are continuously behaving in a manner that you are not supposed to behave or not able to achieve your target, something is wrong with your confidence level, please do not hesitate to seek professional advice as well. That's all what I can say. Thank you so much, sir, for guiding our aspirants. So, aspirants, I hope now you have a good idea how you need to work upon your stress levels. And I will just add that seeking help is a sign of strength and not weakness. And if you need professional help managing your stress or anxiety, do contact us. Thank you.